Welcome to Canon Gamers, episode two. You got the fill. You got. That's not Sean. No, it's not. So you, you haven't seen Sean. It could be Sean. No, no. not Sean. This is Sayuri. Sayuri. Okay, sorry, I only read it. This is, this is Marquita. I said I'd get her on the show. I've uh, tried for a long time. I actually tried to get her to be my co-host for the entire show, the That's series. Right. He bribed me with the cookie today, so I had to accept. Yeah. Last time I bribed her with something else, and it just turned out really bad. <laughs> We're not talking about that. Muffins. Muffins. It was muffins. <laughs> All right, so let's get straight into this. Yes. But not. But not. Yeah, people want to talk, hear us talk about gaming. They want to see your opinions on gaming. I see. But I do this kind of trademark thing. I call it trademark things. So anybody steals it, you can I'm going to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the drink, the drink of the episode. Oh yes, yes. And I brought one for Marquita. It looks very interesting. I was I actually gonna do it last week. Yeah. I completely forgot, <sighs> so I ended up having a full throttle instead. <laughs> this week it's Rockstar. No. No. No, I love Rockstar. It's Star balls. <laughs> Where's yours? No, that's a oh, get your sorry, bottle. Sorry. Um, <laughs> she asked me where mine went. <laughs> Okay, yeah. people are going to no notice balls, right? Mm -hmm. People are used to balls. Yeah. Well, they really I'm... enjoy balls. Um, Lots of people are fans of balls. They like yes. holding balls like this. Mm -hmm. Well, not balls like this, but, but sort of, you know. It, it in any case, people uh, <laughs> people know of the normal blue bottle balls. <laughs> blue bottle, yes. Bottle is the bottle, key word there. <laughs> but they're not used to what this is. Yes, it looks kind, I kind of, of um, freaked you out with these ones. Yes, the shape and the texture. No, no, this is normal. That's normal. What? That's the, normal the bulky for balls. is normal. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. But it's balls usually in a blue bulky. bottle. Oh. This is in a brown bottle because it's geek beer. It's not actually <laughs> beer. When I showed my brother this, he's like beer, yeah. and I'm like, no, 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 no. I actually did that. It was a kind of weird moment. No, it was geek beer. It's actually root beer. High caffeinated guarana root beer. I like the lead speak on the bottle, actually. It's very cute. And I'm a fan of it already. I haven't even tried it. It's... No, I haven't even tried it either. I saw these at a corner store downtown in Ottawa. And uh, and I decided, oh, I'm going to try it on the show and see what I think. I just realized, will I be able to open this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, okay, I can. Hands All right, you ready? Steel. No. No? Okay, that's no, fine. Yeah. You're never ready. Mmm, smells root beer-ish. <laughs> root beer? It's just root beer. Mm. I don't taste any difference than if I was drinking, like, Barks is more, it has bite, but uh, this doesn't. <laughs> Very interesting. So if you, if you want root beer, normal root beer, that happens to have caffeine in A it. A really cool bottle. I would buy this just for the bottle. This bottle is awesome. It Are reminds you, me I'm of beer no. and a vibrator dildo at the same time. This is hilarious. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I do! <laughs> is this for those really, really... What's it? The... I can't drink from it anymore. <laughs> How do I seriously, drink from it now? Seriously, you ever hear, you know, the, the putting the bottle... Go on. In. No, no, Why no. Why don't you tell us? And, and how it's like, how can you fit a bottle? This, I'm sure women now, it, who are big enough... To yeah, there's a lot of, of women watching my show. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are. Yeah, yeah, but seriously, this is huge. But, you know, look at this. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. What do I do to follow that? <laughs> Nothing, just accept it. That's it. Just, just accept that that's what that you said. That looks like a big right? yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to figure out what to think <laughs> now. So after now, <laughs> this video, we'll come back. I don't know what video I just played. We'll find out. But it was awesome. Yeah, I'm sure it was. It'd probably just be like a penguin jumping around. I actually have that, so that's probably what was played. Oh, penguin. penguin. No, jump, jumping around cutely. Okay. Like, okay. Whatever. I don't know what. As long as it's like a eaten by like a sea lion or something, then that would be sad. 
I'm, not, I'm going to try to find no. it right there so you don't watch past this moment. All right, we're going to go into currently playing. She thought we were going to play something on the show. No. <laughs> Sorry, his notes are simply for him, right? So it's like currently playing. I'm like, what are, what's currently playing? He's like, we're currently okay. playing. I'm like, I'm not currently playing. I know playing. what I'm talking about. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'm the host. All right, so what are you currently playing in the realm of video games? Um, I've been playing a lot of Guitar Hero World Tour on the PS2 lately. Um, it's a lot of fun. The tracklist is huge. I love how many songs there are. So many different kinds. Um, I didn't buy the, the bundle, the super bundle. I, I just bought the software because I already have Rock Band for my PS2. So the drums are compatible. The seven gazillion guitars I have are compatible. The mic is compatible. You can see like so seven guitars, right? Yeah. So like, what's the point of buying more peripherals for something that works just fine? Like, but it's a lot of fun. All of our roommates love it. We bring friends over. We play all the time. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Um, we need to fill time later. We'll play some rock, some guitar here yay. on the show, Sweet. and you'll get to hear my amazing voice. Yeah. Sing. Oh my God! <laughs> just I've been singing been to a fortune. <laughs> I don't know what song it is. I don't know either. <laughs> Any, anything else you're playing currently? Uh, PSP, I'm playing Final Fantasy Tactics uh, War of the Lions. I've been playing it for a while now. I've played yeah. the game over... It's a long uh, game, isn't it? It's a hugely long game. My timer's already clocked out at 99, 99 hours, 99 Shit. minutes, 99 seconds. You know. Is that because you're horribly bad at it? No, it's because I love out. the game so much. I just love my characters level 99. Like it's it, you can go forever on this game. Just wow. like oh, it's so much fun. I played it so many times on the PlayStation. Then now that they actually have a remake that's even better than the first game, I love it. I absolutely love it. The translation is improved very much because um, there were a few strange bits in the first game that didn't quite feel like they were using the proper grammar, the right kind of English for the the times, the setting. So not but quite they, as bad as all your base belong to us. No, not, not quite as bad as that, but they, they, they made it feel more refined, almost. It didn't feel as... So an actual English as, first, then well, look at the game... Because they were nobles, and they were, they were barons, and things like that. Yeah, they were using slang in the first PlayStation game. Yeah, now they're actually using the proper... Thou shalt headshot, dude! Not thou shalt stuff, but uh, it's, you'd have to play to see what I mean. I can't quite... It's very eloquent, the way they spoke. It's, you know... That's about all I could say about it, really. And the cutscenes are really cool. It's kind of like sketchy, kind of uh, cartoony artwork. It's it's really cool, though. I really like it. Very good. And um, voice acting, too. Sorry. Really? On a PSP yeah. game? Voice acting, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess cool. that's not too yeah. On that topic of PSP games, RPGs, have you ever played Jean d'Arc? No, but I saw I saw the game, actually. They I actually got out. really into that game yeah. and really enjoyed it. Kind of reminds me of um, uh, Fire Emblem. Mm, cool. We had a demo for it at work a while ago, but I was so busy I never got a chance to actually play it <laughs> while I was at work, so... Yeah, I just yeah. put on my hack PSP. Mm -hmm. So anyway... I need to get one for my DS, actually. Yeah, yeah there's a place. few people that know yeah. uh, I don't know how, I uh, I'll give you a link later. Yeah. So, <laughs> is there anything else that you're currently playing? Um, you, you covered Guitar Hero and Final Fantasy Tactics, blah blah blah, and... I'm, I guess I really am a bit of an old school gamer, not old school exactly, but I like a lot of the older stuff, like right now on my DS I'm playing Harvest Moon, More Friends of Mineral Town, it's the girl version of Mineral Town. Now, now do you find that game boring? No, no, I don't, I really love the Harvest Moon series. It's because really it's a fun. lot of like, milking cows, and no. throwing chickens against no, the wall. No, there's no. <laughs> I, I just, after I threw my sixth chicken against the wall, I was just like, yeah, I've never played the game. <laughs> I right now I'm still in my first year. It has taken me a while to to get through one even one year. But the girl I'm working on, she's already got a red heart, so I think she's girl getting she's ready. Working on. Oh yeah, she's getting ready to be married to me, so so it's awesome. Like what I'm trying to do in Fable too. Yeah. Oh sorry, did I say the girl version or the boy version? The girl version. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, my gay friend has the, my girl version, so I'm playing as. I have both of them. I have the boy version and the girl version. She's, she's, she's by he's, game. Yeah, he's playing my female version right now because he wants to marry Kai, the, the the guy who comes in summertime with the bandana. So yeah, so I'm playing the boy version. And that's why I'm thinking of me getting to marry a girl. So, yeah. Okay, and you're somewhat 
watching Fallout 3? <laughs> yeah, I am kind of watching Fallout 3. Um, my roommate upstairs, he plays it on PC. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's he might hear you. I know. But anyways. Um, but you're enjoying that. I am. Even I'm, though you're watching. Yeah, I love it. Because I, I can't play first person shooters and I'm so sad. And third person is so broken, but we'll get into um, that later. But no. I played the first two and it's I feel safe because like Phil was saying, he can't stand being scared going around a corner and it's ah there's something there for you to kill you. Oh I can't stand that either. I, I could never play Doom 3. Oh my goodness. Oh I, I could hardly watch it. My mm. my cousin had it set up in his basement. He had this huge and crazy rig where he had his PC set up to a uh, a projector yeah. that went up on the wall, the whole wall. And I was watching him play the game. You can't and speak to like, it's so I know. <laughs> and then this monster Whoa! I'm like, Shit. I know because and it's so big you can't escape from it. It's not like you can look somewhere else. It's right fucking there. Yeah, so. I, I peed on his couch. <laughs> oh shut and, up. And he was like, What the hell? And that never happened. I know. Yeah. Um but uh, I'll go I'll go into what I'm playing. Okay. Okay. Fallout 3, mm -hmm. which I love. But there's problems with it. We'll get into that. Fable 2. I discussed it on the show just like Fallout 3 it. last time. I love it. Yeah. It looks good. I think it might get game of the year. I just want to make a character. That's all I want to do. That doesn't look like uh, China or Xena. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a little... Uh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I was leveling up my character when I was putting like strength into her. And then, she, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, she could kill me, but that would be kind of interesting. Um, that's an awesome game. Also playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, and uh, you saw my character in that. Yeah. Happens to be something close to this. What? And then, what else am I playing? Uh, I'm not really playing anything else. No? That's it? Just no. those three? Just those three. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was playing Fire Emblem before that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I have the bag by the way? No. No. <laughs> I, you know what? I never finished. I need the freaking GameCube uh, memory card. I have one. Everything else you can have back. Mm -hmm. Well, you had one of the games back. The Game Boy Advance. Yes. Game. Yeah. Uh, and and I need to give you the other Game Boy Advance game back yeah. because I finished that. Yeah. But uh, let's get back into the show. Okay. <laughs> hey, Hi. welcome to our conversation. Okay, but, yeah. um, okay, we'll go straight into Fallout 3. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, you talked about Fallout 3 last time. I did. Go, go on. Okay. Basically, my views of Fallout 3, Phil was commenting on the cursing and the swearing and that kind of thing. You, I, I wish you played the first two because it's worse than that in the first and second game. The second game especially. I wanted to take a screenshot to show you of this one block of text, this one person was talking to me, and I cannot remember it, what started the conversation, but he got angry at me, and he said, okay, go fuck yourself, you fucking fucktard, don't fucking come talking to fucking fuck, and it just- I'm glad I don't like, have a censor this I know, show. and there were so many fucks and fucking and fucktards in this one block of text, and like, where, I, screen capture, and it was just, you, you, uh, it's so good, they actually toned it down a bit in Fallout 3. Well, I, I, I wasn't that's, saying that I didn't like this one. No, no, I know. I, I, know love saying, I love the. That's what I'm saying. Like that you would like the first two. It doesn't matter how, if it's not pretty. It's okay. the same kind of you game. You played the first two games. Yes. We'll get right into that. What's the difference? There is no difference. The Fallout 1 and 2. Are um, they first were, person shooters? No, they're not. They're, over, they? they're overhead, uh, open ended RPGs, dungeon, okay. dungeon crawler style. Alright, so like so, a Final Fantasy. Sort of, yes. Like you'll you like a Diablo. When you leave, yes, yes, like Diablo, sort of. When you leave your your vault in the first game, you're in a cave, and you just have to go out of the cave. You'll see the walls of the cave, and if you get close to a wall, it'll show like a like a, a cutout version. So you'll like because you know the cave walls are there blocking your view. They'll just cut it out, and they have like a semicircle around you, like as if it's a magnifying glass mm -hmm. or X-ray vision, sort of. You know, going through the wall to see, so you can see the floor. That's about it. It's. It's, it's really good though. It, it, it takes a little bit, if you're so used to games nowadays, how pretty they look and everything, it takes a bit to get it's past a that. It's looking game, to see but games. it's a really in-depth yeah, game. Yeah, because it was made like, what, 15 years ago? Like, well, 90, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Early, no, like yeah. early 90s, almost 80s. So it was, it was, they were made a while ago. Yeah, you're going to have to send two, me those files. Yeah, well, Brent has them. I don't think TV. it's illegal anymore. 
Yeah, no, no, you can't even find them. You can't Should buy them. Should be sure by now. You can't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. If not, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, no. but, uh, but what was I going to say? Thanks. Uh, um, okay, well, well, we'll go into the things that I have problems with, okay. and you can debate. Okay. All right. One thing that I have problem with, you're going to agree with this, okay? Is the the radical the the little target is screwed up in third person? Oh yes, yeah. Actually, I did person. notice that. Um, Brandon when he was fighting against a bunch of super mutants mm -hmm. or mutant brutes or slave master. Uh, they have a certain subtitle to them. Anyways, he was behind a car and he was trying to shoot them. And his target was above the car, past shooting at. It was like ding 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 ding, hitting the car. He's like ah, oh, so we had to actually. Was that in first that. person? Yes. Yeah. No, no, it was in third person actually. Okay, okay. Then that I'm pretty sure it was in third person. Yeah. I noticed that when you're in third person, mm -hmm. the little. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, she's drinking. Mm. I just the thoughts went through. Anyway, uh, when you're when you're when you have the target in third person mode, it's a little bit like off into the, and, and down or something like that, and and it's like way off when you're trying to shoot like far targets or mm. something like that. It, it it just pisses me off. Like okay. for things like sniper, you go into first person mode. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And and you're like straight on. Yeah. Uh, first per this game was made for first person. It is. That's any, how Brandon plays. Anything so... third person just looks broken. Yeah, because we haven't played a lot of third person. He only goes into third person now that he's got the power armor, so we can actually see him running around in the power armor. That's about it. So. I do because I am a girl. He's got the enclave power armor, by the way, which looks totally cool. I haven't gotten really that really evil looking helmet. Sweet. The other thing that I was complaining about is jumping. Fucking you, fucking jumping. But, you don't uh, okay. fucking jump in the first two fucking games. Uh, okay, like well that's completely jump. different. <laughs> it's a different, act, it's a different it play is. of the game. But, the, but the problem, I would say, is mostly the... Hello. Yeah. The problem is mostly the third person view of it. Yeah. Because when you're seeing it through the third person view, jumping looks like shit. Um, walking looks like shit. <laughs> you, you'll look like... You're handicapped in some way when you're walking. Yeah. Uh, jumping just doesn't feel right. No. I agree that if you're in, thir in first person view, jumping feels fine because in that view, you yeah. don't see how it's working on the outside. Yeah. But third person just looks broken. Mm -hmm. uh, like, and the fact of the matter is, when you're going around and traveling over rocks and hills like that, you can only jump certain certain little gaps and certain little bits, why can't you have a connector animation, like mm -hmm. climb, oh. or, or well, this isn't jump over. Okay, seriously. <laughs> it's just, How much a lot of it you can't bypass, but if you were in the level, you could climb over these things and... Yeah, yeah I don't know, I don't know what to say about that really. Like, the fact that you can jump in this game, it's not too bad. The, the, like, if you couldn't jump at in, all, you'd be scared. Yeah, it wasn't It'd in any of the other games. And it's basically just to get over small obstacles. Like, it's not... Well, like, pebbles. Be, like, Halo 2. Pebbles. Leaping over, you know... And you're trying to climb over rocks so you can get an advantage over some fucking <laughs> super mutants. And you can't get past this pebble because you can't get up high enough. And <laughs> I don't know. You let, let me crawl over. I don't care. <laughs> like, give me something. But don't let me go jump. And then when you're too close up a hill or something... You can't jump at all. Like, what the hell? Um, but Alright, so enough broken. of the jumping. Enough of the jumping. Um, well, let's go into the how the um, stats work. You know what, actually? I noticed too the other day. Um, you're spoiled in Fallout 3 because the attributes, you know, your charisma, your strength. How do you say that? Attributes. Attributes? Yes. Attributes. Attributes. Fuck you, man. <laughs> it's it's tomato, a little potato, like, potato. Britain, potato. like English. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, attributes. attributes. Yes. Um. Fuck. What was I gonna say? God damn you. Um. No. 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 Okay. In the first two games, dust. In the first two games, um, you set your attributes, and that's all they were. You could either have like you know, average. Shut up. <laughs> average skills. You know, like you can have high agility, so you have more action points. You know, okay. average strength, so you can carry more stuff. You won't get encumbered so much. But that's it. You couldn't increase them. Okay, but we're not judging that game, are we? What? No, that's what I'm saying. Follow three. Okay. And every level you get, you can add one point to. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You're but, spoiled because but, but you can't do you're, that. You're saying in comparison to the other games. Yes. I'm not saying in comparison to the other games. I I'm am. just saying the game in general <laughs> could be better with a 
a different system. Like, I like the system. They changed the system because of that. The, they, they made it much, they made it a little bit easier, not too much easier. But the fact that they did change that, it's, I don't know if they should have. I just think if, if you're using, okay, say you go out and you're fighting monsters, and you decide to use melee ammo, objects, saws, whatever, like knives, stuff like that, yeah. bats, nail boards. Mm -hmm. um, you should be, you should get stuff based on that. You should be awarded based on your behavior. But that's not how this game works, though. That's the problem. No, it's not. Like, I can do it whatever I want, I can do whatever I want, and then when I level up, I can level anything in the world. Yeah. Which is okay, I like the system. But I just, I like a reward system better. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want it just to be based on how many guys I kill and then the experience I get from that. No, but you see what this does. This makes you plan ahead. Think about what kind of character you want, you act towards that. So what if you can't use big guns, but your, your speech skill could get past that? You know, like, like for example, okay, okay, I will re reference Fallout 2 for this one though. For the beginning of the game, uh, my melee skill sucked, but I had a really high speech skill. And at the end of this cavern of trials or something like that, there was a guy standing there, I had to fight him. And my speech skill and my, my melee skills got, like sucked. All these scorpions were like killing me. I had to try three times to get through this stupid tunnel thing. But uh, I got to the guy, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm like half dead, I'm not gonna survive this. But as I'm talking to him, I realize because my speech skill is high, I have all these extra options <laughs> to not fight him. And in the end, I didn't have to fight him. He's like, yeah, you're right, why do you have to do this? Well, let's just say you beat me. And that's it. That's all I have to do. I'm like, sweet. So you don't always have to have, you know, like high fighting skills. You don't have to have high lock picking, but you could. You could have high stealth. You could have high lock picking and not a very strong character. That's the whole thing. Like, you can't be. Yeah, everything. you can. You can beat this game in different ways. Yes. You can go around a lot of speech way. It's not realistic if you're going to be this big hulking strong guy who can also be stealthy and lockpick and yeah. be chariz charismatic and everything. Like, you can't be everything. But my That's thoughts, what this game is limiting. You, you can't. You can either be the stealthy guy in the night, you know, who's... My thoughts are this. Like, when you start off the game, you get, like, the certain little choices, right? Based on those choices that you make, like, say you decide to go the speech route, mm -hmm. you get more points in speech. If you decide to shank someone, instead of talk to them about issues, yeah. you get more of a melee combat skill. And that would build up based on how you react to certain situations as the game goes by. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like to see in this game, brought into the system that's already existing. Yeah. Like, no, I know what you mean. I know do what you the mean. same system. Like, as you get experience, you can then add on as well. Mm -hmm. But, instead of having certain, like, I, I like how all clothes and items and stuff like that, they have certain bonuses. Yeah. I love that. I love that in Star Wars Knights yeah. of the Old Republic that made it replay abilities high, okay. Mm -hmm. But, I want that, I want to be rewarded for what I do, what I choose to do. If I want to go out in speech with everyone, I should get, like, little bonuses as I go. Mm -hmm. Because it's just how I play the game. It's how I want to bring up my character. It should recognize that. But it does. But it doesn't. So I could later just go, fuck this, just put it all in something else that I need, and then where's the replay aspect of the game? Like, because you're, you're best at everything, you're not going to no, but if, all these unlocked doors you can't unlock. If, if I do go the route of speech, I, I would not be gaining points in whatever other things yeah. that I could do. Like small guns or like something. Like kill someone instead yeah. of talk to them. Yeah. And then therefore, as I'm going through the game, I won't be able to unlock that side of things. I won't be able to tell the princess at the end of the game, hey, I want to get married, and I only have the option of, okay, I saved you, and should I kill this person? Mm. It, it'll make me go want to go, okay, I'll play this game again, and I'll try a different road. Mm. I'll try lockpick, I'll try... That's exactly what this killing, game does. Uh, talking. You don't need to be able to, to skill up as you go. That's but that's what, the thing, that's like, I could get does. halfway through the game and go, oh, well, I'm just going to put it all in science. You could do that. I can't take away from the points I've already no. put on it, no. but I can change my whole thing. Yeah. And I would rather do that through how I'm acting in the game, and then it just realizes how I play, mm -hmm. instead of having to go do it myself. And some people, for instance, people who uh, want to have an all-evened-out character, they're going to get screwed in this game. 
You have to be specialized. Yeah. Or you, well, I guess you don't have to be, but it, it's better if you're specialized. Well, you're not going to have as much fun. No, no. Because you can go through the game just as a lockpick character. But you're not going to be able to unlock everything because your lockpick is only going to be mediocre. So it's... If you do the average out. Yeah. But uh, if you're learning and you decide as an action to go and unlock things mm -hmm. or, or just like, break into places, I, it'll learn that. Because I want to know, like, what kind of skills are you, are you leveling up on right now in the game? In the game, right now, it's mostly uh, science, because I know you use it a lot. Um, all, like science repair and so lockpick maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Like I'm doing all the like smart stuff because mm. that's what you use mostly in the game. Yeah. And I have speech as well. Mm. So that because I know that I can get around, I can kill characters really easily. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty good at fighting in the game, so yeah. I'm not I'm not worried about leveling up my small small guns, my big guns. I can just kill them. Yeah. It's not a big deal. But, uh... Energy weapons is a good one to get up, though. The strongest, so. the strongest weapons in the in the game are always energy weapons. It's true. The, 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 there's a they rifle always. in the game, a laser rifle. Yes. They're Love always... That they're, weapon. They're, nice. yeah. But I got it early. So I'm like, I got this super amazing weapon mm -hmm. early in the game. I don't know why. Like, somehow lucky I got it. <laughs> and and I'm just, like, blasting people and... Yeah, yeah, I know. Dust, I'm like, shit. Yeah, it's always energy weapons that are the strongest, so... They're, they're good. Around midway, halfway through the game, it's good to start building points in them, just because you know you're going to start getting some. So, so yeah, um, okay, if people are going to play it at home, the best thing for us to give for advice is level up in a certain area, or two, or three. I don't know. But don't average out. If you average out, you're not going to have as much fun. Mm. You're going to come to a place and go, shit, I don't have a high enough level mm. to do anything. You know what kind of character I'm making? I, I was making a follow too until my monitor crapped it on me. Uh, I was making a sexy character. Because <laughs> you could be a porn Go star. Go figure. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. You have to have high endurance, high charisma, and high agility. Yeah. <laughs> and have Kama Sutra Master as a perk. Oh, that's another thing too, actually. Can you get that in Ball of Three? Uh, the, the perks? You know, Kama Sutra you Master. Get, you get a perk in every level, right? Yes, I love that. You only could, you, once again you spoiled. You can only get perks once every three levels in the first two games, unless every level this one. Unless you chose something else, in which case you would get perks every four levels. Okay. So yeah, so that's the thing. Perks every level, that's insane. But are they like smaller perks? In no, they're the same thing. In fact, they actually improve bloody mess. I always choose bloody mess just because it's fucking bloody mess. Yeah. But in this one, they actually 5%. add five percent damage. It's that not that big of a deal though. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's still, just like. Okay, we want to give you bloody mess, if you want it, but we don't want you to think, oh, all I got was bloody mess, it's just a... Ah, bloody up. mess, man, it's hard For those to who don't know what bloody <laughs> mess is, uh, if you have that enabled, I guess when you shoot someone and you get, it, like, They the die in the hit, worst possible way. The Their cool. arms and limbs get blown off. It's I think awesome. I showed a little bit of that in, yeah. the, in the videos mm. I showed last time. So cool. I always get it, just because it's so much fun. I decided not to. It's fun to kick rats in the crotch and have them explode. I got the 10% the, the <laughs> extra ex XP okay. three times in a row, mm. so that I could quickly get experience. And uh, one of the speech things. Okay. And then recently, uh, I put something on my, uh, on my other stats. I noticed that if you choose this option to add stuff into your, I forgot what they're called, the other stats. The skills? Yeah. Yeah. Not the skills. Attributes? Uh, the ones before that. Is that That's like uh, agility and... That's attributes. Attributes. Whatever they're called. Yeah. They've got some weird attributes. Oh, it's, um, no, 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 special. What? Special. I don't think it's called, is it yeah, called special? It's okay. Strength. Whatever. Perception. Yeah, that. Uh, you can endurance. add a point into yeah. that. Yeah. So I did that so I could add a point into there, uh, which is a bigger, you get more out of it that yeah. way. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> In any case, this is a really good game. It we is probably, a really good game. We've talked way too much about it. I think we have. I'm sorry, it's my fault. It's mainly because I was ranting. I'm like, how could you talk about Fallout 3 without me? So yeah, okay, I'm happy now. I am appeased. This is why you came on the show. Yes, yes, it's because it was. you wanted to argue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the P's now. I forgot if there was any issue, other issues I had with the game. Um, I think it's just that learning thing that yeah. I, I wish and wasn't then, it. And then you pissed me off when you mentioned, oh, it's 
you know, jumping right at you literally at the same time. Like, what? Fuck that. That's well, not how the other games okay, work. Why we won't go back you? into okay, that. Okay, sorry. We're, we're done. <laughs> we're going to disagree on this, but <laughs> there's other games out there that's done this really well. And that I wish would So go play that. I then. wish they would incorporate <laughs> this stat system as well, because there's a lot of things you can choose. Yeah. And uh, I believe the more you can choose, the more you can wear, mm -hmm. the more weapons you have. That's another thing. I wish there was more made weapons mm -hmm. and early on in the game. Like, even if it was like... Oh, like the shish kebab kind of thing? What? <laughs> uh, the first weapon weapons? that you can make yeah, in the game is yeah. a rocket launcher. Yeah, well... Is it? That's the first weapon you can get. Okay. As far as I know, because that's the one that Maya or... What's her name? Sells at the store oh, like in, the in the city. Girl? Yeah, in Megatron. Megatron. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that wants you to do a book for her. Oh yeah. But the, uh, the, the... but she sells a rocket launcher schematic that you have to get like a thousand points for. A thousand four hundred. I think she sold us a shish kebab thing actually. That's what I'm saying. Like the don't... flaming sword. No. See, it's different. Weird. It's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I love about these games because it's random all the time. Yeah, but it wasn't random. Like every time I go back, it's still the rocket launcher schematic. Like there's no, nothing but it's new for your game. I think that it's go loaded to... as that. Oh, you know what I mean? That's interesting. Because um, at the end of the first game. But how do I get more schematics? I I haven't found where I can get more schematics. I haven't been into like half um, the game yet. So. Half the time I'm walking in on Brandon as he's playing the game. Yeah. So. Okay. So. I don't know I'll play more because I love the game. But the shish kebab was awesome. Big flaming sword. Yeah, it's totally cool. And uh, let's, before I, we get out of the topic of Fallout 3, mm -hmm. the dog. Dog meat! I, I, I love the dog <laughs> simply because it helps me get through caves and such. I'm not as freaked out. Mm. Though, I went into one place that, that has um, super mutants, whatever they're called, yeah. and there was like three of them that gang up on you in like close quarters, so it's really difficult for your dog. Oh. You go in with your dog, your dog's gonna get killed. Mm. So you have to say, dog stay, stay here, here. Yeah. <laughs> and you go in and kill them because there's ways you can easily kill certain enemies. Yeah. So I went in Fragmine, grenades. Mine. Yeah. Those are the best way to kill super yeah, mutants. Or missiles. Or a, or a bottle bottle cap mine. Those are awesome. Yeah, but I don't want to go well I'm gonna fire it on and then run away. I'm not a runner. Mode is easier I'm that. not a runner. Just run back. I like just it. going out after them. Go really yeah. close. War shotgun. Ball cap mines do insane damage on them. So the insane. grenades, if you aim it just right. Can I use a Nuka Cola? A Nuka -Cola I haven't gotten there yet. yet. The fucking big blue. Uh, big blue I don't know how to use those. Awesome. And anyway, as you can see, it's a fun game. It's so much fun. I, I'm, not, I'm now going to caves, mm. and I'm still freaked out, though. No. Oh, one thing beware of the building to the south with the bad mojo. That's what? all I'm gonna say. What? You you find it when Is you play the game more. No, no. No. Okay. There's it's a cop just... building that I'm I'm scared to go into yeah. and save some people. No, it's just uh, one guy says, "Oh man, stay away from the building to the south. It's got bad mojo." I haven't been. Listen there. to him. Me been. and Brendan like, no, no, no. So you say, "Stay away from the building in the south." Does it that have one of those? Go to the building in the south. Does it have one of those huge monsters in it? No, it's got ghouls in it. And it's Ghosts. Kind of ghouls. All the little. Okay, yeah. just like the guy in the bar. Yeah, yeah, they're scary. They're like zombies. They're scary. The ghouls. Okay, let's they're go there. Everyone's like, okay, enough. enough. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Skip ahead. Oh, honestly, yeah. do you have an Xbox 360 or a PS3? I keep talking with customers to this all the time. You have to get a follow through. You'll, you'll be addicted. If yeah. You, uh, even so in third person mode, yes, it's broken. It's. It, I wish it was. I do. No, if I like first person, I'd be in first person all the time. We're still because talking it, about the Yes, but we're talking about <laughs> how it. Targets people, all right. If you're a person who likes first-person shooters, mm -hmm. you'll love this game. Yeah, but if not like... if they don't like RPGs because there's a lot of talking and there's a lot of exploring. Yes, if if you just want a freaking yeah. Call of Duty four. One guy did trade his Fallout three in because he didn't like RPG elements. He said there was far too much talking. He'd rather just go in, shoot up the town, and reload. And he's like, oh, this is lame. Yeah. Just, okay. he, he if, he want, if he doesn't want to explore yeah. and, and yeah. find little trinkets and go into a store yeah. and get money for them, yeah. he, then you're he not going to have fun. Yeah. But if you do like first person shooters and you like some RPG aspects, meaning like you like discussion, you like finding other ways than just to punch yeah. people in the yeah, face. Yeah, you're probably just ADD. You know? then <laughs> Sorry, all the people out there who have ADD, I don't mean that. So. If you like third person mm -hmm. and don't like RPG aspects, no! Yeah. If you like third person and you like all of what we've talked about, try it. Mm. Because, like, me, I, I love it. Yeah. 
I, I may think it's broken in the third person aspect. You have to agree with me. Third I person, it's broken. Yeah, yeah. I did, it, it does run kind of gay. But I still play it in third person yeah. because I love the game. Mm-hmm. I compensate. Overcompensate often. <laughs> he does uh, overcompensate often. <laughs> it's okay, Phil. I love you. <laughs> Commercial, video, <laughs> something. Skate 2. Skate. Have you ever played Skate? No, I haven't. Have you ever played Tony Hawk? Mm, yes, I did. Pro Skater? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, Skate? Uh, on PS2. Project D? Mm, no, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was 3, actually. I was a big fan. Yeah? Huge fan of Tony Hawk games. Um, one in particular on the N64 I really loved. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think now of what was, the name uh, of I've my... played it since Pro Skater 1. Fuck, it's almost there. My younger brother, whenever he'd save his uh, his name at the end of Tony Hawk, it would be Critty Pueblo or something. Fuck, gonna fucking I have to call him. Weird. Was, anyways, but, um, yeah. I played them all. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite would have to be well, the first one because it was such a big deal. Yeah. And Project Eight because that was a new thing. You could like go into the slowed down Matrix time mode and. Do certain things with the thumbsticks to make your board go different ways okay. in slow motion. It was weird, but then Skate came along, and the whole thing with Skate was that Tony Hawk is an arcade version of skateboarding. Yeah. Skate is a simulation-based version. Okay. So when you're going around town, it, it's a lot more real, mm-hmm. and you use the thumbsticks to jump and do moves, which feel like as if you were on a skateboard oh. and doing moves. So the rotations you would do with your foot mm-hmm. on the skateboard to get it to flip certain ways is the ways you do the thumbsticks. Oh, cool. So it, a lot of skateboarders love the game because it, same thing. Mm-hmm. It's the best game, skateboarding game ever. Yeah. And I I still have it at home. Mm-hmm. I won't trade it in until Skate 2 comes out. <laughs> and I'll get like $10 credit. I know they're going to Skate It for the Wii, Shit. which uses the Wii balance board. No, thank you. No. Why not? Fuck the balance board. Why? Fuck the Wii. Uh, I like my I, Wii. I, it's okay. Don't uh, listen to him. We're, we're going to discuss in depth what I think of the Wii on our big discussion episode, which is coming soon. Which we'll discuss that at the end of the episode. Oh, okay. But, shit. I don't even want to play it on the Wii. I, th- I think that I know I'm going to be disappointed yeah. if I play it. Plus, me on a balance board, I'm, bra- I'm bound to break the motherfucking thing. <laughs> I'm going to step it on can, it and it'll crack it. No, in it can hold up to, uh, what was it? 350 or something. I'm close to that. 335. Yeah, that's, that's about what I am. Okay. So I'd be like, step, crack, oh shit. And you know what, I'll return it and they'll be like, did you step on it? <laughs> and I'll be like, no, I would never use one of these. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, Skate 2 is coming out January 2009, mm. and that was actually, um, I forgot what, what tipped people off about that, I think it might have been, it was in one of those games in the booklet or something like that, 
um, that had a little page saying the actual date and they hadn't released the date yet. Oh. So I don't know if they're actually going by that date or not. I don't know. I, I, I kind of think I'll have to more likely to be March or something. see, yeah, what it is. But I don't remember coming in. When this game comes out, I guarantee I'll be talking about it. Mm. And I guarantee I'm talking about it now. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't wait. Uh, there's going to be getting off the board finally. There's going to be little things like you're not going to be screwed up by curbs. Because in the first one, when you were skating along and, yeah. the, and a curb came up, you would hit the curb with your wheels and your skateboard would stay. And you'd go, Poof. Okay. <laughs> and, and right No up. gravity, no, no, uh, what is it? I'm looking for physics. No, no, physics is great in this game. Yeah. But when the skateboard hits the curb, just yeah. like in real life, if the, your skateboard hits the curb, your skateboard's staying there. Yeah. And you're going. Okay. And that's what would happen okay. a lot. Oh. And so, so I, there's like a new thing through. that's, that's yeah, there's, you could, but it's annoying. Oh, okay. Like, a lot of people don't want to worry about curves. That's just not... Mm. Mm. It's too real. Another, too real for these people. So you can get off your board now. For a simulation skateboarding game, it's too real. Sorry, what? And also, you can jump into the air, and if you see a pedestrian, you can jump off your board, like send your board flying into their face. Yeah. So you can like attack people with your board. <laughs> Do you get points? I, I don't know how that works. I just, I just thought it was interesting. Well, hopefully no, I can throw my board at someone the right of physics kick in their head full of flying off. Um, that wouldn't really happen. I don't think so either. But that is in the game. There's a lot of extra things in the game. Like you can take items mm -hmm. and move them around cool. anywhere. Hmm. So not just not like Tony Hawk, they did it first. Yeah. But like only in certain areas. And stuff and, yeah. There's only certain items you can do that to. In this, anything that's movable, you can move. Cool. Pick a cable, let's move it over here. Wow. Let's put 50 picking cables over here. That's pretty cool. But I like interactive I objects with the background stuff like that. It's cool. I, I've heard you like interactive objects. What? Okay. I meant that in the best way possible. Of this week's X Live Box Live Arcade Update. Price reductions on worms. I believe this was from last week, but yeah, they're not twenty five cents a can anymore. They're actually twenty cents a can now. Sorry, what? No. <laughs> Three games went down in price because they're older, mm -hmm. and it's Worms, Feeding Frenzy, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat Three. I see. And they all went down to about five bucks. Mm. So if you want to play games, Worms is awesome. That's pretty cool. Worms, I, I've been a fan of Worms. This is ever from since. the marketplace, right? Marketplace. On yeah, on oh, okay. Xbox Live. Okay, cool. On the Xbox Live Arcade. Mm. Just if you want to hire me for a voice, uh, contact me. I think my voice um, is better actually. Yeah. 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 And Mortal Kombat, which is an awesome <laughs> game as well. There's a lot of characters in MK3, isn't mm. there? Or is that yeah? Yeah. Or is that all? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Know. They Whatever. I wanted to there. say that news so that people know. Also, yeah. in two days, three days, mm -hmm. actually tomorrow is when the new Xbox Live new firmware comes out. Ooh. Which has so the... you have to update your system over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an update. All, other things that I didn't mention on the last episode that you can do, uh, you can back up your games to the hard drive. Okay. But you have to have your game in so that it notice, knows that you still own it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it speeds up load times on some games more That's so good. than others. But That's good. If it's worth it, it's up to you. Yeah. Um, there's well, how games. much space is it really going to take up? Seriously. Anywhere between three and, well, Lost Odyssey is like two Yeah, there's like six discs. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like 16 gigs or 14 gigs. Okay. And if you've got a 20 gig hard drive, it's not really, there's no point. No. But there's some games that it takes like half the loading time of. Mm -hmm. There's some games where it's only like two seconds. Like, who cares? You wouldn't want to care about that. But they've got some graphs online that you can find. That people have tested it, oh, okay. and you can see if it's worth your time. Cool. Like I plan to put uh, Fable Two. It's worth it because the menus will come up faster, mm. and, we'll, and you use the menus all the time. Nice. So that, and I believe there's a. It's good in Fallout Three. Mm. I haven't found out for sure. Hopefully, it'll run better because if you play too much Fallout Three, it starts to slow down. It starts to glitch a little. Uh, I so had that one have... problem in the fucking yeah, church. Yeah, we have that problem on the PC. The only problem we have is the saving. Saved once and it couldn't couldn't load it and yeah. Well with any game there's likely to have like a glitch or two. Yeah. Unfortunately. I don't do 
a whole 20 seconds. Oh, so, no. <laughs> let's go on to the next thing if we have anything else. Oh, there's also a big Fable 2 announcement coming up. Ooh. My guess, DLC. It's downloadable content for you people who yes. don't know. Mm -hmm. um, big announcement. They're, they're hyping it. It's supposed to be this week sometime, so hopefully the next episode I will have that news. Did you get the, um, sorry, random question. Did you get the Halo outfit for your Fable 2 character? Yes, but I didn't need a code. No? At a certain point in the game, uh, after like some time during the story mode, uh, you go into uh, the next part of the story. Mm -hmm. but before that, there's a chest. You open it, Halo stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm like, uh, okay, this well, made this the exclusive yeah, to, hmm. to pre order. So <laughs> I didn't pre order, I kind of did, but I didn't get a pre order copy. Hmm. Weird. I didn't get a code or anything. Very so weird. it just showed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess other people could wear it from day one. Yeah. yeah. But I had a girl. Girl character, mm. so why would I want to put that on? <laughs> yes, I had hot clothes, pants and, and, and a corset. Yeah. <laughs> it, it worked better for me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's it for news. Um, but yeah, that Fable Two thing, it's going to be downloadable content, no doubt. It's probably hopefully it's not horse armor. Oh wait, that's well, that's horse Oblivion. Armor? What? In Oblivion. Okay. The the game that was made before Fallout. Yes, I know what Oblivion is. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay right. Sorry. <laughs> for the, for Oblivion, their big downloadable content was horse armor. Now, for a horse. what do you mean? Like, as in a harness? It's armor for the horse that you have in the game. So. To put on. The horse. So like a big horse mask and like chest piece for a horse. Yeah, well, it's and, like, like side piece and instead of the. Interesting. Yeah, like a like a metal cloak kind of thing. That it makes it look cool. more cool, but but it was it was too expensive. It was it was it's, it was like five bucks for did one horse, armor piece. Did your horse even have HP? Yeah. Oh. Your okay. horse could die, but then <laughs> okay. you get another horse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's stupid because it was five dollars for one piece of armor for your horse. No. No. You're actually gonna spend your actual money to get this? Yes. It's retarded. Yes. Retarded. So, like, okay, I'm all for downloadable content. Mm -hmm. First of all, give us a bunch of downloadable content for free. Yes. We bought your game. Give it to us for free. Exactly. Yeah. Make us wait one. You make know, us happy. Make us want to get Fable Three when yeah, it comes out. Your other work games. Towards it with points, sure, but for money in game. If you do the microtransactions, yeah. small amounts mm -hmm. or. Pay five bucks for a whole shitload of stuff. That's fine. Not one of these. But five bucks for horse armor? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. So I'm hoping it's a bunch of downloadable content that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if you pay like ten cents each item. You'll get a lot of money. Fable two is Fable two? Fable two is very popular. I forgot what game you were talking about Yeah, time. Fallout 3, Fable 2. I know, he so. likes to listen to himself to talk about all these intricate details and stuff. But it's okay. Let me see my face. There's nothing there. <laughs> when we get back... I'm in trouble. <laughs> never on the show again. You have to wait two Excellent. episodes until you can come on the show again. Oh, oh well. Yeah, it's a big discussion. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Video. And that was an interesting video. I'm sure it was. Did Marquita you know? in the shower. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, sorry, I don't have that video yet. <laughs> no. uh, it would be an interesting video. Yeah. I like putting you on the spot. Yeah, I, I noticed. I noticed. Yes, thank you. Yeah. It's nothing like making myself look like a pervert. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna move my, my chair mother would be proud. A little bit more. <laughs> That'd be fine. I do it for the show. <laughs> I'm not normally like this. Yes, he is. Don't listen to him. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to look into the year 2000. Where in year 2000? That's a little Conan O'Brien reference. Oh, oh that one. I love you, Conan, but I don't watch it very much. Sorry. Some people will get that reference. Sorry. Next week, next episode, will be episode... 3. And I don't know what I'm doing for it. You don't know. 
I have no clue. Ideas, people. We need uh, ideas. Well, a lot of times Questions. I just go, eh, what, 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 what will I do? It's exactly what I do, actually. But, but uh, then it comes up, and just like this, I didn't know I was going to do that last week, last episode. Mm. And then I was like, hey, Marquita, let's do a show. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah, camera, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and she was like, no, no. <laughs> so that's the thing that I did. No. No. <laughs> and then I said, okay, well, let's just do my video show instead. So um, next week, I'm not sure what I'll do. We'll figure it out. Uh, you'll see an episode, and I'll discuss the NXE. See, I remembered this time. The new Xbox experience, the new okay. firmware. I am, because I messed it up before. <laughs> I'll discuss that. I'll have my thoughts on it, whether good or bad, it should be good, mm -hmm. except for Netflix. I'll discuss that then. After that is the round table. Ooh. And, and we'll have to actually like wheel it in too. It's yeah, it's going to be a big table, table too. There's a lot of people. Yeah, how many people? Um, Four. No. <laughs> Two more. Six people? It looks like it's going to be Marquita. Phil? Me! Phil! Twiggy! Twiggy! Who you haven't met, but you I know. haven't met. Oh, you haven't met. They no. haven't met. I haven't met him. They can no. see my other videos on other shows. Okay. I see Twiggy. Mm. You just mmm, Twiggy? No, yeah. I mm. Go for it, Twiggy. Oh, um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sean. Sean will be the. I'm gonna get him on camera. Yeah. He won't be. Is this the guy that goes lums and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sean. Um, that was pretty that was, a, that was an inside <laughs> joke we're not going to get into. Uh, Shannon and Mike will be there, who you'll meet later too. I That's guess that's the Mike. round table. Mm, cool. And uh, we're going to discuss different topics. If you want to, if you're watching this right now, and you want to be a bigger part of the show, you can go to allblog.com. I'm putting it somewhere. Yes. And you can go register, if you're not a member yet, and go to the Canon Gamers. Yeah, I said it right. He got it right this time. I noticed you didn't say it many times throughout the show. No, yeah, see, I don't want to call it Canon Gaming. Yeah. Because it's not Canadian gaming. It's all gaming by Canadians. So Canon Gamers. Canadian gaming. She, she doesn't care. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> so go to allblog.com, go to the forum for Canon Gamers. I said it right again. <laughs> go in there, there's a topic for suggesting topics for the discussion, the round table. Yes, please suggest something. We have some Otherwise, good topics. Otherwise, we're just going to ramble. Like I do. Yes. Often. Please give us suggestions to talk about things. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna get so off topic, more so than I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to try to keep it within video gaming. This is going to be difficult. I think so too. I think there actually needs to be a film moderator person too to make sure you are on track. <laughs> right. You'll see. That's going to be in two episodes. But go to allblog.com, join the forums. We're going to be doing a bowling event after the that round table. So much fun. The cool thing about the round table discussion is that people are invited. Mm. If you guys want to come to this discussion and be a part of it, you can. Mm. Just go to allblog.com and find out about that. After the discussion, we're going straight to bowling for All Blogs event Yay. called All Bowling. <laughs> that was really, really corny. Oh my goodness, we need to hire a writer or something. <laughs> Creative She's direction. making fun of me. <laughs> I love you, Phil. It's okay. Yeah, can't get away with everything. I said, I love you, Phil. Oh my god. I am lying. So, you can actually get away with that. Okay. Um, but uh, bowling in the dark. I love. Yeah. She likes in the dark. Period. Anything in the dark. No, because I love all the neon lights and everything. But she I likes throwing lights, sponges so... in the dark. She likes. Uh, Lawn bowling in the dark. Yeah, no lawn darts. Ar arcade machines in the, the dark. in the dark. Rock, awesome. rock band yeah. in the dark. Well, that explains. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so you have all that and more at allblog.com. Yay. 
there anything else we need to discuss, or should we end it now at two hours and 35 minutes? I think we should end it now, actually, because this has gone on for far too long. I'm just going to edit the whole show, and it's going to go, <laughs> 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 and even then it's still oh. 35 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Broken! Jump <laughs> 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 figures, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. 